The astronaut program was born with the contribution of Canadar. NASA invited us as well to fly astronauts on space shuttles, and there was a nice relationship that was developed throughout those years. We became participant in the biggest engineering project ever uh, conceived uh, by man. <laughs> And it's uh, unbelievable that we prepared so well for the launch of the Canadarm2 in 2001 with STS-100. And to come you know, during that mission where there is a major glitch with computers on the space station during the time where the shuttle was present. When we have these last minute issues come up um, and last minute changes to the mission, we, um, we have to attack the problem. Common objective is get the mission done. Uh, we needed to rework our plan and, and spend extended hours testing these products and getting them delivered on time so then we can do the final call to say that we are go for flight and Canadarm2 can do the job. I'm a mission controller and my basic job is to fly the arm. We're the ones that send most of the commands from the ground. Depending on the operation, sometimes it's also the astronauts on the space station that do the flying of the arm, but even then, we're massively involved. When an astronaut comes to the Canadian Space Agency for, uh, for some training on the Canadarm2, we have a series of theoretical classes. One of the reasons it's, it's, it's somewhat re renowned is that we're not afraid to tell these, these astronauts that, no, you, you did that wrong. Let's work on it, and we're going to do it the right way. My prediction is that Canadarm3 will be a, a telescopic arm. So the, the segments, the arms, the upper and lower arms, will be able to compress and fit in a smaller launch vehicle. Communication satellites that require refueling will be able to be serviced by Canadian technology. I predict Canadarm3, like Canadarm2, will outperform its predecessor. Being able to say that, you know that guy, that, or that, that woman who's up there operating the Canadarm2 in space? Well, I trained that person. When we saw Chris Hadfield and uh, his American partner on doing the balls, deploying the arms and commenting about it, it, it was a moment, uh, again, of pride, uh, but also of uh, accomplishment. You participate in operations that you basically build and then the astronauts call down to thank you by name. <laughs> it's, it's something very remarkable to participate in things like that. My team and I have probably the, the coolest job uh, in Canada, or I would even venture in Earth. Uh, we get to operate the Canadarm2, uh, and we have been doing so for the past 10 years. Not only that, but since 2005, we are able to control the Canadarm2 from the ground, and in that way, we're able to basically help the astronauts do their job more efficiently while allowing us to basically play like big kids.